Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, I would love it for you to subscribe down below and also hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of all of my future videos. Today I have filmed this very easy, uh, soft Valentine's Day makeup look. I have been loving these red lips lately. If you've seen my last video, you would have saw. This is like a really, really deep red and I've been living for this for the past couple days. I'm usually not the type to have a really bold lip but I don't know what it is I guess Valentine's Day is just bringing it out of me also if you notice my pink nails I had to have it and my pink I just love Valentine's Day you guys should know this pink is my favorite color after all and it's just a great it's a great time I mean winter is almost over can we all just praise the Lord for that <laughs> so if you guys want to see what I did to get this look then just keep watching Starting out this look, we're going to go in with the Smashbox Cover Shop palette. This is the Smoky, and we're just going to take our fluffy brush that we always use and go in with this bone-colored shade all over the lid so we can have a nice, even base. And then we're going to go in with the Too Faced. This is the Christmas palette, and we're taking Chocoholic as our transition shade. It's a very nice, cool tone brown. I'm blending that out with an e.l.f. blending brush. I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't really have a name. It's just a blender. And then we're going to go back in with the Cover Shot palette and take this nice cool tone brown. And we're going to start building the color so that we have a nice fade from the lighter color to the darker color. We're deepening it up. And then we're taking this pencil brush by It Cosmetics and Cyber's Umpter, which is a really 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 dark brown shade in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and we're going to use that to deepen up our crease and the outer half or outer V of our eye. Got to really create some depth in there so that's very nice. And then we're taking the e.l.f. blending brush one more time and we're going to blend everything. Just keep blending. And then we're going to take this e.l.f. shader brush and cookie dough which is a very, very, very shimmery. I wouldn't say very shimmery, but it's pretty shimmery, but it, you just have to pack up the color and it'll work, trust me. It's really, really pretty once you just pack it on as much as you can. And then we're just going to take whatever is left on that brush and we're just going to deepen up the crease just a little bit more. I wanted it a little deeper. And then we're going to be taking our Kat Von D ink liner. I didn't want to do a wing with this look because I wanted the look to be very simple. And as we all know, winged eyeliner is anything but simple. So then we're just going to take this angled eyeshadow brush and go back into the Smashbox Cover Shot palette with the dark cool tone brown and smudge that all over the bottom lashes. And then we're going to go back and take Cyber's Umpter and we're going to take this smaller, denser angled eyeshadow brush and put that closest to the lash line so we can give some more depth. Got to make him look into your eyes on that first date. For Valentine's Day. <laughs> and then we're going to take Desserts on Me, which is this white highlighter shade in the Too Faced palette. We're going to put that in the inner corner and above that brow bone. Yeah, girl. And then I'm taking this blush by Physicians Formula. This is their butter blush along with the butter bronzer that we're going to use next right there. Yes, I love this stuff. It goes very well with the eyeshadows, in my opinion. I think that they just really capture the light really well with each other. And then we're going to contour our nose with the same powder. Because I love this stuff for contouring my nose. It's really, really good. You should try it. And then we're just going to blend out that contour as much as we can. Don't want any lines on our face or anything. Just a nice shadow. Then we're going to take the Wet n Wild in Boozy Brunch and highlight. My favorite part of the whole look, honestly. Actually, no, I take that back. The lips are my favorite of the whole look. 
Then we're just going to go down the bridge of the nose and above the cupid's bow or on the cupid's bow or whatever you call this. Then we're going to take the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and set the whole face because we want it to last all night. And then I'm going to be curling my lashes and applying my Benefit Roller Lash. And then I'm taking this CoverGirl Red lip liner. I'm not exactly sure what color this is, but I will link it down below so you guys know. And I'm just going to line my whole lips with it. I love this stuff, honestly. It gives such good pigment with the lipstick that I'm about to use. So I highly recommend these lip liners. And this is the Too Faced Lip Melted Matte something in, I think it's called Lady Balls. So, that's my description of it. It's a two-faced something. That is going to complete this video. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Also, subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, and follow me on all of my social media, which I have Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. All of my names on those platforms will be listed down below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all very, very, very much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.